Hello friends, myself Rakesh. Today we will learn the regular expression of chapter 11, replace activity. Uh, replace activity is one of the critical activity and one must know how to utilize that, right? So in this one, we would be learning more about the grouping uh, in regular expression and how do you utilize that is something we are going to see. Uh, if you would like to learn UI path in detail, uh, this is the right channel for you. Please do subscribe to UiPath Expo Hub. Please do like all our videos. Please do share with your friends. Do comment and subscribe to our channel. So let's get started. Uh, so for the demo purpose, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a text box and here in the text box, let me write a couple of sentences. For example, let's say if I say uh, I have uh, 100 rupees okay 100 rupees in my first account and I have uh, 200 rupees in my second account okay so if this is the word and I would like to replace this 100 rupees to, to something like if I have to say rupees 100 right instead of 100 rupees I want to make rupees 100 and instead of saying rupees uh, 200 rupees right i want to say rupees 200 so it is kind of alternating both the words so this is where we will be utilizing the grouping technique in regular expression so let's see how to do that so this is my initial text okay so i will save it and then the very first thing i will do is i will try to read this text so for that i'll be using a read text activity right so read text i have it for word read uh, okay so this is the one ui path word document okay so this is the uh, this is for the notepad okay so i am going to use this read text okay and then it's asking for the file name so let me select the file it is in my documents uh, okay regular this is the file okay so once i have selected what i'm going to do uh, it should read the content and store it in a variable so for that control plus k and i will say input string okay so this is my uh, variable where entire data from the notepad will be stored okay so once i store the data the next activity that i'm going to use is replace okay so i'll use the replace and i am going to drag and drop this uh, activity okay replace so this one i need to create a configuration of regular expression which i supposed to use so first thing what i will do i am going to copy the entire text whatever is there right in the notepad let me copy this and i will uh, go to regular expression site and paste it over here okay regexr.com and here uh, I have to write the regular expression. So for that, what I will do, I want to only replace this word, right? 100 rupees and 200 rupees. For that, what I will do, first is square bracket. And if I say 0 to 9, what, what is happening? Um, all the digits have been selected. Now, after this, if I use a plus sign, a quantifier, if I use, you know, one or more of the preceding tokens should be selected. So it is now, you can see 100 and 200 rupees is selected okay sometimes you may have a dot right dot uh, let's say 50 pesa something like that so if you have that how do you select so for that again you have to use a backward slash and a dot and which is an optional character so if i use a star mark over here sorry so the plus supposed to be here and here if i use a star mark what is happening uh, the dot if it is there it will be selected if it is not there it will be selected because star is is a quantifier it which would look for zero or more of the preceding tokens okay if it is so in 200 it is not there still it's going to select the 200 okay so i've used a star uh, and after that you may be having zero to nine uh, like 50 uh, 60 70 whatever you want to have right so this also will will have a star okay done after that you have a uh, space right so you have to give a space and then you have to simply write rupees okay so by doing this what is happening 
you can see it is uh, getting selected everything you know thing is getting selected but i have to group it so what i will do i'll use this one and the entire thing i am going to make it a group okay and the same thing here i'll have to make rupees as a group okay so here i think there is a double space okay so if you see i have uh, 200 rupees in my second account so now both of this got selected okay so let me correct my text i will copy this and put it over here okay so this is my text so now um, we can see from the regular expression um, everything got selected but the trick here is i want to make it rupees 200 and here i want to make rupees 150 okay so how do i do that uh, for that there is something called uh, grouping okay so how you do the grouping go to click on replace and here the first one the first bracket is dollar one if i say and this is the dollar two for example here if i write dollar one so what is happening you can see uh, 150 got selected right 200 got selected and if i write uh, dollar two now you see the rupees has come as output now if i say dollar two space dollar one if i say let me show you that how the output is appearing so if i say dollar to space then dollar one if i say so what is happening the rupees is come at the beginning and then the value dollar one so this first group is called dollar one the second will be the second group will be nominated as dollar two so if i say dollar two hyphen dollar one so you can see the sentence has modified itself to rupees 150 and the second one also rupees 200 right so this is exactly i want so what i will do i will copy the expression and I'll go to UI path and here in the replace activity uh, here the input will be my input string right which is coming from um, the read text file and then in the regular expression pattern I need to paste it over here clear so this is what I supposed to do all right I just copied and then this has to be inside the double uh, quote so let me paste it like this done after that here in the replacement pattern the replacement string this is where you have to write so what i have to write i have to copy it again from regular expression this one dollar two space dollar one and i come over here and paste it clear so let me show you so this is what i have typed dollar two dollar one okay all right so once i'm done with this um, so it's going to replace and the output would be stored in this particular place so what i will do control plus k and let me create a string called final string which will contain the entire string with a different output what we wanted okay so now you can either write it to the notepad or you want, you want to write it to a word doc whatever you want to do but here in this example let me just log it okay so i'll just use a log message activity and uh, I'll use info and here I will say final string and I want to see that in the output okay so let's see something is wrong encountered processing final string okay so let's go to variable okay so let me delete okay so there are previous variables so now what i'm going to do i'm going to use this as final string okay so now everything is done and let me run it so i'm expecting the uh, previous sentence to change itself okay so if you come over here in the output panel so you can see i have rupees 150 in my first account and i have rupees 200 so it is automatically changing uh, the text okay 150 rupees has been changed to rupees 150 right so this is exactly what we can do with replace and it is a very useful activity guys so you can just practice this is one of the demo but you can practice and come up with some complex examples to illustrate so thank you very much for watching this 
uh, and uh, in the upcoming videos we are going to come up with orchestrator uh, what we promised in our last couple of videos so orchestrator would be our new series of videos which is going to come so please stay connected thank you for watching please do like the video please do comment and share thank you very much you guys have a wonderful day